Hello everyone, Board Game Lawyer here. It's Saturday afternoon. I'm looking forward to playing some Marvel Champions from Fantasy Flight Games. I'm also looking forward to playtesting for Season 12, Round 1 of the Solo Champions League. It's a league run by the, by the community. And what it does is it gives us a scenario with which we can use to play against to compare our results to other players in the league. It's a lot of fun. This is my second season of playing in the Solo Champions League, and so this is the scenario for Season 12, Round 1. So what they've asked us to do is to play against the Taskmaster, and they give us a few parameters. They tell us that he can use and should use the Power Stone. So we have a Power Stone, which is an attachment. It's a, a setup attached to the villain permanent. Force response after a hero or villain deals three or more damage to the attached character. With a single attack, attach Power Stone to the attacking hero or villain. So the Taskmaster is going to begin with the Power Stone. Let's take a look at the Taskmaster. He has a, a hit points of 13 because we're playing in standard mode today. So we have standard uh, Taskmaster 1 and 2. So 1 reads that he has a scheme of 1 and attack of 2. He's a Hydra Mercenary and he has a Force Response. After a player changes hero form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on the card. So that's his forced response ability that we'll be playing against today. So when we flip to our hero form, we got to remember to draw that that card. Let's take a look at our main scheme for the Taskmaster. It reads that the content should be Taskmaster 1 and 2, which we have, the Hydra Patrol, which is one of the parameters for this particular round, and also one modular encounter set, Weapon Master. They did not include that in the rules, so we will not include that in our deck today. So we'll just use the Hydra Patrol setup, set each captive ally aside out of play. The captive allies I have right over here, they are White Tiger, Moon Knight, Electra, and Shang-Chi. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle them up and set them out of play for now. And then the next portion of our text says, search the encounter deck for the Hydra Patrol and put it into play and shuffle the encounter deck. So that's what we'll do. Where is the Hydra Patrol? Here it is. It says, when defeated, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion and puts it into play, engage with them, shuffle the encounter deck, and it begins with a crisis icon on it and a threat of two. Meaning, this crisis icon that we cannot take threat off the main scheme while there's threat on the Hydra patrol. So the main scheme is done. Side 1A. Side 1B reads, Force response after resolving step 1 of the villain phase. Each player in hero form must choose to either place one threat here or take one damage. If the stage is completed, the players lose the game. It begins with one threat on it. So there's our threat for hunting down heroes. We have everything set up for the villain. Now the hero that, that we've been asked to play with in this first round is She-Hulk fitting. We just had a She-Hulk television show launch on Disney Plus, and so we're going to be using She-Hulk, and we can use any aspect that we want. We can use aggression, justice, leadership, protection, or we can use all basic. I like justice. It's not necessarily my favorite aspect, but it is the one that I'm the most efficient with, and so I chose justice as my aspect today. But the nice thing is, is they do give us some campaign elements that we can add to the She-Hulk. And so they could, they've asked us that, that we can use a tech upgrade. And so I searched through my Red Skull campaign box to find this tech upgrade here. It's a tactical scanner. It says set up hero action. Discard this card and remove it from the campaign log and draw five cards. Love it. Nothing better than to get a big mitt full of hand, uh, hand right here at the beginning of a game. And so she begins with six hand size of six. This allows us to add an additional five more to our hand to start with 11 cards. How awesome is that? And then the condition upgrade, the basic condition upgrade that I chose, they gave us the option, was the basic attack upgrade, which is you get plus one hit point. So we get to add one hit point to She-Hulk, and our hero gets plus one attack. And so I'll go ahead and add that one hit point, keeping in mind that our hero gets plus one attack when we flip over into our She-Hulk form. So that's it. That's all the setup for this uh, first 
uh, round of season 12 of the Solo Champions League. All I have to left to do is to draw up my hand size of six and do my mulligan. You know what? I'm also going to shuffle. go ahead and shuffle while I'm thinking about it, both of my decks before we start. So here's my hero deck. I've already given it a great shuffle, as you know, but I'm just going to give it a few more. Same thing with the villain deck, our encounter deck. Shuffle it up just a little bit. All right, good. So our hand size of six. So we draw a one-two punch. This is probably the best card in the in the She-Hulk kit for this particular type of game because it says after you make a basic attack using your ATK ready She-Hulk. So that's a wonderful card to have in our hand right at the beginning of the game. We have Justice Served, another good card. allows us to reset. We have Gamma Slam, not such a good card this early in the game. Another Justice Served card, the Superhuman Strength, and another sh Superhuman Strength. The She-Hulk cards... I am not banking on those near as much in this particular type of a game. Now, in other games, they're great. But in this one, where you're trying to race through the villain as quickly as can, you can, you don't need a Gamma Slam. You don't necessarily need superhuman strength that costs a little bit too much. I'm going to get rid of that one, too. I'm also going to toss off both of these Justice Serves. This might be a bad idea because these are reset cards. But I do need to get to a few other cards that are in my deck, and so I'm going to discard the Justice Serve deck, or diff Justice Serve cards, and I'm going to draw six more cards. So I'm going to draw another one-two punch. Great. I'm going to draw Multitasking, Hellcat, Focused Rage, and Swift Retribution. So those are my six cards to open the game with. I'm really happy that I got two one-two punches. Multitasking is okay. So what we'll do is we'll flip over to our She-Hulk side. When you do that, it says, can you even lift? Do you even lift? And it's a response after you change this form, deal two damage to an enemy. We'll go ahead and deal those two damage. But we do remember that we need to have a forced response here. After a player changes to their hero form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on that card. So we flip over the top. We got two captured by Hydra. So we'll do two damage to She-Hulk. So now she's down to 14. Okay, so this is my hand size of six. I want a bigger hand size, so we're going to discard Tactical Scanner. And we're going to draw five more cards. So we draw one way or another. And we draw another one-two punch. And we draw Limitless Stamina. Those are three great cards to have. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, two more cards. We got Turn the Tide, and we have Swift Retribution. Excellent mitt full of cards to begin the game with. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to. I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but I do like to be able to play that one way or another card. It says, search the encounter deck for a side scheme, reveal that side scheme, and draw three cards. So I'll net three more cards by playing this one way or another. So the side scheme that I want, normally when I'm playing Taskmaster, I want to go find those Captured by Hydra cards so I can re release those allies, but not in this particular game because I don't want the game to go that long. So Taskmaster's Training Camp comes into play with only two thread on it, and it has a force response after a minion enters play. Give it a tough status card. So we'll put Matt, uh, Taskmaster's Training Camp aside for now. Or on the table for now. Okay, and so we'll draw three more cards. We'll place our two thread on Taskmaster's Training Camp. And using that one way or another, now we can draw three more cards. So we draw the Ground Stomp, we draw, draw Followed, and we draw Adrenaline Rush. Now that's exciting to have Adrenaline Rush because that's a card that's going to give us the additional attack that we need uh, until the end of the phase. So Adrenaline Rush, I'm going to spend our Hellcat to put out the Adrenaline Rush. That is an upgrade. And again, it says discard Adrenaline Rush. Your hero gets plus one attack until the end of the phase. That's important. Okay, very good. So Adrenaline Rush, we're going to go ahead and um, 
discard it. I'm going to set it over here now as a reminder. I'll just put it over here kind of to the side that we're plus one attack. So we're three, four, five attack. She-Hulk is going to attack Taskmaster for five. So we'll do five more damage to him. One, two, three, four, five. Puts him down to six. Advantage is that now we can steal the Power Stone for Taskmaster because we busted his chops with such a tremendous attack. Okay, great. Now because we just attacked, um, we also can, with that, uh, spend a resource. We're going to spend Focus Rage to play 1-2 Punch. It says after you make a basic attack, ready She-Hulk. So our Focus Attack is going to, our 1-2 Punch, using that Focus Rage card, is going to allow us to ready She-Hulk. So she pops back up right. She's going to do now three, four, five, six damage because we're plus one till the end of the phase to Taskmaster. All right. So we're going to hit Taskmaster for six more. One, two, three, four, five, six, which knocks him all the way down to zero. So stage one of Taskmaster is defeated. We flip over to stage two. Now it says when revealed, Deal each player in a counter card, and he has that same force response after a player changes hero form to discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage. So here is that encounter card. Now, because we just now attacked, we can ready She-Hulk again. And I think we're going to do that with another one-two punch. And we'll use the ground stomp to pay for that. So here's our ground stomp, one, two punch to ready She-Hulk. Now when Taskmaster two popped out, he came into play with 16 hit points on him. So we'll set our dial at 16. All right, so we have basically two more resets in our hand using the one, two punch and limitless stamina. But in the Solo Champions League, we also want to clear as much of the, uh, the threat as possible from the board. So we do have this card that's entitled um, Multitasking. It says, remove two threat from a scheme. If you paid for this using a mental resource, remove two threat from a different scheme. So Swift Retribution, we could spend that to play multitasking it has a mental resource on it so we could remove two threat from uh, taskmaster's training camp and then we could also remove two threat from the hydra patrol the other advantage is is that we could put the followed card out onto the taskmaster's training camp hmm let's see how this will work so we better do our math because two attacks with She-Hulk and one four attack would do all the damage that we need. So we just need to make sure that at the end of the round that we have enough. And I think that we can. So we're going to play the multi. Hmm. We do need to put the followed out. So I'll put followed onto the Taskmaster's training camp. It's going to cost us one to do that. So I'll use Swift Retribution to put Followed onto the Taskmaster's training camp. And so then if we play the multitasking, it says remove two threat from a scheme. If you paid for this using a mental resource, remove two from a different scheme. So we'll do multitasking first to remove two threat from Taskmaster's training camp which will defeat tra Taskmaster's training camp. And it says, Force Response, after a minion enters play, give it a tough status card. There's no minions in play right now. And so this is defeated. Advantage. Followed card says, when attached scheme is defeated, deal four damage to an enemy. So we're going to deal four damage to the Taskmaster, 
And then we'll remove two more threat from another scheme. So we're going to take two more threat off of Hydra Patrol. In the Hydra Patrol reads, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion and puts it into play. So when you put a card into play, it's not revealed. So let's go find a Hydra minion and put him into play. All right, so our Hydra minion that we're going to find today is the Hydra regular. He's going to come out. He has Insight 1, but it says when this card is revealed, place one threat on the main scheme. It's not revealed because it's simply put into play. All right. And so now since we did, uh, after your hero thwarts and removes the last attack from a scheme, deal three damage to an enemy. Now that was when defeated... So we can actually do turn the tide now to do three damage to an enemy. So we're going to do three damage to the Hydra regular using turn the tide. I assume this is a response that I can still play because this whole thwarting ability has not ended yet. This is a response. So we're going to deal three damage to an enemy. So we're going to remove three. Or we're going to do three damage to the Hydra regular, which will remove him from the board using turn the tide. Okay. All right, great. So now She-Hulk, remember she has three, four, five, six attack. So she can do six damage to the Taskmaster through that attack. And so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six to knock him down to six. And then after we use our basic attack, we can play another one, two punch. After you make a basic attack using your attack ready She-Hulk. So we'll ready She-Hulk again. And we'll do another six damage to Taskmaster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Meaning that Taskmaster two is now defeated. And that is all taking place in one round where we burn down the villain. And that's the idea. You wanna do it with the least amount of threat on the table as possible. I just couldn't remove that last threat from the table. That's okay. That won't hurt us too bad. But we did remove the, the, uh, the minion. We knocked the villain all the way down to zero, and we did it with quite a bit of health left. So that should give us a pretty good score in the solo champions league. That's the idea. Try to burn things down as quickly as possible, leaving the least amount of wreckage out there on the table. So that was my deck that I think that I'm going to go ahead and use for the Solo Champions League. Let's uh, take a look and see what that deck was, how I built that today. I'm just going to move Taskmaster out of the way for now, and I'm also going to remove some of this out of the way. Let's take a look at my deck. So we have Adrenaline Rush. That's an important card. You want to get that on the table, and I included three of those in my deck. You don't necessarily need three of them. But some other cards that I included that were big damage makers were followed. It does four damage for one, and you know you're probably going to remove some threat, the final threat, off of a main scheme or off of a scheme, period. When, it, when a task scheme is defeated, so it has to be on a side scheme, that does four damage. Turn the tide. Whenever you remove the last threat from a scheme, deal three damage to an enemy. That's a lot of damage. Limitless Stamina is a reset card. Ready your hero. And again, that Adrenaline Rush, you saw how many times I re readied myself. So that was a plus one every time I did it. One, two punch. That's the best card in the She-Hulk deck for this scenario because it allowed us to ready our She-Hulk. Let's look at some of our other cards. So we have Multitasking. It's what allowed me to remove two and two threat, which cleaned up quite a bit of the board. Swift Retribution. It's kind of a last case scenario. If you want to bust the villain in one stage and you can't do any more damage, it says the villain schemes deal four damage to the villain. That's a good card to have. I included two of those in my deck. So there's another one-two punch. The She-Hulk cards are waste cards in this can, a, a case, except for the one-two punch. So I'll just throw those off for now. And Hellcat's a little bit too expensive to put out in this, in this particular type of game. And so I'm just going to toss her for now. One way or another is what allowed us to get that extra card. Uh, tactical Scanner, that was important. That went to our discard pile after I used its uh, five-card draw. 
Uh, justice served says, after you thwart or remove the last threat from a scheme, discard justice served and ready your hero. Just another way to ready our hero to get six more damage out to the villain. Here's another justice served. And then there's the Gamma Slam superhuman strength. We don't intend to use those in this type of game. All right, here's what was left in our deck that we didn't see. Legal practice, garbage, uh, superhuman law division, don't need. I put another followed out there, another one way or another. Ground stomp, we're never going to use that. Uh, clear the area, that's to get um, the last two threat off of a scheme and draw a card. That could be really advantageous and clutch in a game like this. Of course, we're, we kept three copies of Adrenaline Rush in our deck. Focus Rage, no. Justice Served, Followed, Turn the Tide, another one way or another, another Turn the Tide, Limitless Stamina, Adrenaline Rush. Split Personality is a great card. If you get caught where you cannot defeat the villain in, ra in one round, you may need to hang on to that split personality in order to flip, flip down to your alter ego form and drop a hand size to build your board up more so that for sure in round two you can defeat uh, your enemy. Legal practice, we're not going to use. Limitless stamina for sure. Multitasking, there's another one of those in here. Clear the area, clear the area. So I have two multitasking. I have three uh, followed cards, three turn the tides, three justice serve, three one way or another, three adrenaline rush, the one two punch. These are the cards that you want to mulligan for if you're going to try to defeat the villain in one round in this particular uh, round of the season. Uh, one, one phase, one phase, one. These are the cards that you want to try to hunt for at the beginning of the game. And then if you find these cards, these are the ones that will probably do the most. You may you may mulligan off switch for retribution. It's probably the most dangerous one because it adds a lot of threat to the villain or to the main scheme. So you might want to be sparing with that. But just a served is good. Followed, turn the tide, limitless stamina. These are all cards. And you don't need to put more than one adrenaline rush out there. You saw that um, in order to defeat Taskmaster, you get to do that two damage when you flip. But then you need to do 5 and 6 to hit him for 11. And then you need to do two 6 attacks and a 4 attack in order to knock him out, which you can do with these cards. And so that's my approach to the Marvel Champions Solo Champions League for this round. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or if you want to join the league yourself, there's still plenty of time to get in on uh, the first round. So you can reach out to me or maybe I'll include that link in the uh, notes below. But uh, anyway, it's fun league. I encourage all to, to uh, if, if you like this type of thing, if you like giving a scenario and how to try to, to come up with a, a puzzle to try to defeat the villain as quickly as possible, I recommend the Solo Champions League. It's a lot of fun. So thanks for watching today, and I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope to bring you another one again very soon.